town so vast that it makes hell look like heaven. Sheltering monsters who don't deserve to live. Like this one. Jose Gustavo. I thought it was um, well done, mainly because it, it really embraced a sort of revenge thriller conceit in a way that I thought um, I had an appreciation for um, the influences that is typical for this type of approach in genre. Kill Bill is obviously one of like the most obvious quick example, but I thought it really had a great sense of the type of pacing and timing and the kind of characters that would be in this um, piece. I think the sort of um, absurd ridiculousness of the gang members or maybe drug dealers when she has a scene with the gun to her head, I think that's very typical of the genre as well how cool she ends up being i don't think the concept really works unless the uh, main actress is able to embody sort of the uh silent assassin um detached killer aesthetic in a way that feels believable and i thought that it worked well the mask obviously um helped but i thought that the lighting um in particular um and the editing style of the piece really helped make the piece feel uh bigger and more stylish than what, what you might would assume um with the very grounded um aesthetic i thought it had a good sort of ruminative a uh, meditative feel towards it especially at the the end with the water i thought that was a good shot for a closing shot and i just thought it just um worked well in carrying the story when it has a protagonist that is basically uh, not talking for most of the runtime so i thought it was a um, well acted had a sleek uh, aesthetic to it that um worked especially with the grounded setting and just um had the look and feel of the of the genre that it was that it was it was influenced by which i thought um, reflected a level of detail that i thought um came through it and worked well for the concept overall i think it was a fun story uh and a interesting look at, you know, someone on the run, someone who is a vigilante and, and, um, is kind of like this good criminal, if you will. I think the shots, um, were really creative. I think, um, you work with the action sequencing and the pacing of this piece really well. I think the pacing was really great and it, it really, um, fed into this thrilling tone, this really interesting tone, um, um, that, you know, has the viewer on the edge of their seat the entire time. I think it was written really well. I think it was acted really well. Um, and overall was just a really, um, you know, high anticipatory piece to watch. I loved the kind of like focus and then as soon as like one victim was dead and you're like oh maybe that's the end like it just immediately jumped to the very next one and the next one um so I thought that was really really well done and I thought the action and the fights were like really entertaining and really captivating um and then the kind of storyline that you got as it's kind of developing and like you're getting to know her more um I thought was really you know intriguing and um i thought it was just really interesting and like really quick it moved really well um the tempo was really really great very slick i enjoyed it definitely had this just great moody style that uh really does a lot of the heavy lifting um the the scene work itself is is you know it's interesting and it's cool but the uh the lighting and the coloring just really takes it over the edge and makes it this really visually complex and, and interesting narrative um it, it's you know it's cool to see her do her thing um again um some just good strong writing in there some solid performances this one just really has a lot of elements that make for a good uh th thoroughly enjoyable film a really gritty um look at what a realistic vigilante would look like in today's world and what they would be going up against um the action sequences were really great and what i especially liked was how it took the time to explore the character um, and their feelings and motivations. I think that was really great how it was able to bring both of those pieces together. Uh, one of the most striking ones for me was that first death. Um, something about that one was so dirty, but also so, <laughs> I guess, it, I guess uh, symbolically it's like poetic of like the kind of person that was, but just in like, man, if you were to die, that is the worst that is the worst legacy to basically be left as, you know, like whoever finds the body stumbles upon that. That's, um, yeah, that's, 
I feel like that's the, the definition of like delete my internet history. <laughs> um, but all in all, it was it was a lot of fun watching. It was a great, you know, revenge type beat. I was really rooting for her. Um, I really liked the cinematography and the lighting. I thought the um, actress was really good. She really carried. I really felt for her. Um, and yeah, it was really satisfying. <laughs>